Hey, what's up, guys? We are back at episode, what, 4? 7.1.4, Exploration Guide. So we're going to go through these, path 1 through 6 once again. So starting off with path number 1, let's just hop right into it. We got Polka Dot Power, Immunity to Bleed, Highly Flammable, Poison Vulnerability. So, who to bring here? Very easy answer. A full Domino Trinity. Trinity. Have you got her, bro? Because I use Domino for actually nothing in the game. She's just been sitting at rank 5, just collecting dust. And then this path came out, and I was like, Incinerates do 200% more damage? Hmm. Domino Trinity? Parry heavy? Uh, holy shit, the damage just actually claps cheeks. Pretty much ign immune to bleed also, which I just realized should make Magneto OP because the armor breaks, but I don't know, because he is kind of buggy recently with that kind of shit. Um, so, it also has poison vulnerability, so if you have a strong poison character, you can bring him in too, you'll have fun, but I, oh, sorry, that was disgusting. Uh, I found Domino just to be clapping cheeks, bro, honestly, this whole path just got domino So, um, what I did is I used Massacre for the first fight, and then Domino for the rest, just because you can't really parry heavy Mordo, I mean, you can, but it's more of a piece of work. And dude, Massacre also, not just Domino, Massacre destroys on this path. I have him as a rank 1 6 star, and he destroyed this Mordo. It wasn't even funny how hard he actually clapped cheeks, dude. Like, it was hilarious how hard he hit. But then Domino hit even harder, so. Actually, I don't know, Domino hit hard, but like, Massacre was doing crazy damage. But yeah, they both are really good for this. Domino for Thing, um, you just gotta slow play it a little bit more and watch the rock stacks, but it's still pretty easy. And then for this final boss, we got Juggernaut. He has Caustic Temper and Rising Sun and Juke on all special attacks are unblockable. So, Juke, finishing a 5 hit combo with a light or medium attack grants the attacker the passive fury charge, increasing their attack up, rating up by 7% per charge. Up to 10, 10 charges can be gained, and all charges are lost when performing the same combo under twice in a row. So, I mean, fine. I kind of, I kind of just ignored that node, to be honest. And then Caustic Temper and Rising Stun, pretty nice nodes together the defender has a 50 percent chance to inflict poison when struck so you need to bring a poison immune or quake um and then the attacker takes n pretty much no damage unless you have a fury so you can use literally any poison immune character in the game mixed with the rising sun node it's basically like icarus but worse um so whenever the defender is struck the attacker gains a fury buff granting 2.5 attack rating for 25 seconds once the attacker has 10 fury buffs and any additional ones will give them degen but if you land a heavy attack their fury is removed so basically, you can 5-hit combo with any Poison Immune character, you'll get these Furies, so you do normal damage, and then just heavy attack to get rid of them, and then restart the whole thing. So it's pretty easy, honestly. Um, you can literally use any Poison Immune character for this node, So and there's a lot of those, so it's a really easy path. So Domino Trinity, and then bring like two good counters for this guy, and then even if you want, you can use this thing to switch out and even a third counter if you need one. Um, so yeah, really easy fight, really easy path, honestly. Path 2 pretty fucking easy too um if you have like a character that can abuse this um armor break immunity so tragic i mean i don't know really who you really use armor breaks for um but whatever um we got fortification or fissure is just a nothing node so just don't even worry about that fortification whenever a tech attacker has an armor up buff they're immune to a bleed poison and cold snap effects whenever a tech attacker to remain, re receive a debuff they're immune to they gain a fear passive increasing attack for 20 percent for seven seconds Energy Adoption Ice, whenever the defender, is 50, the defender has a 50% chance to inflict Cold Snap on the attacker every time you touch them, but um, these won't, effects will not trigger while they have an Armor Break debuff, but they're Armor Break immune, so pretty much just ignore that. Basically, what you'll want to do is there's a few really good options for this. Ghost pretty much bullies this node because it gives her, because all these fights, if you notice, are debuff fights, so it, you're getting so much, um, what's it called, Cold Snap plus... Um, these characters give even more debuffs, so Ghost just destroys these fights. Um, another really good character is Colossus. He just eats these buffs, and just Colossus can do the whole path except for uh, Abomination. So Colossus just OP, and then that's what I thought was. I thought I was gonna use Ghost and Colossus, but I was bored. I wanted to do someone fun, so I whipped out Guillotine twenty ninety nine and Warlock as six star rank twos. When you mix it with this, because when the attack attackers have an armor up buff, which both of them have, they immune to bleed poison, which both of them already are, cold snap effects, which they both are with them, which Warlock already is, but Guillotine 29 isn't. So they're immune to every debuff on this path. They're immune to 
the bleeds. They're mean to havoc because they have the armor ups. They're mean to the um, Iceman, the um, cold snap. They're mean to poison. So guillotine twenty ninety nine. When they're getting these debuffs on them too, they're also getting these furies from this node. Um, so it's just really fun to use those characters, and then also you can use them for the boss guillotine and the warlock because they're both poison. I mean also so. This path is cheesable, bro. Bring a really good robot um, that has an armor up. Bring a ghost and a colossus who can just abuse these debuffs. Or you could just be safe and just, you know, bring a Havoc counter, bring a Bleed counter, bring a uh, Iceman counter. But also, oh crap. But also they do have the energy adoption node, so you kind of got to worry about that. So just bring a Cold Snap character that also is immune to Bleed, Poison, and then whatever. But it's really easy if you have the right characters. So, path number three, uh, also really easy, I think. Ooh, excuse me. Oh, uh, yeah, this is a really easy path, I remember now. Um, literally, what is that? Let me see. Brute Force and Color Bond. So, Brute Force, pretty much nothing noted if you're playing aggressive. Color Bond, just bring different classes. Don't bring the same class type or you die. So, um, who did I bring? I brought Doom, Ghost, Wasp, Aegon, Archangel. So, Aegon this fight, Ghost this fight. Archangel this fight, Ghost this fight, um, wait, who else did I bring? Uh, Ake on this fight, or Ghost it, I don't really care, and then, like, Doom this fight. So, it's pretty easy because if you look at the nodes, every single one of these fights gives a bonus to the class advantage. So, for Archangel, I'm also getting 125% more attack. For Ghost, I'm getting 125 more attack. For, uh, uh, what's it called, Aegon, Nick Fury, whoever skill character you want to bring. So basically, you just gotta bring a good counter from um, Nick Fury for this fight, any good tech character for this fight. Probably Archangel is the best character for this fight, Mega Red. Um, you don't really need to bring counter for Jan Foster, like a Magneto. Actually, you already have Archangel, so like a good cosmic character for that fight. And then Doom for the Mystic, or Doom and Symbio Supreme, or like pretty much any Mystic really for this fight. Then you go to this boss. This boss is cheese, bro. It is Rust and Ruin, so don't bring Ghost, because this is literally just a node just to counter Ghost. Lazarus and Heavy Assault, Counter Strike, and Vance Fury. So, ignore pretty much everything you see here, except for Heavy Assault. Both have uh, Champion's attack is increased by 500% when using a Heavy Attack. So, what do you do here? You could Archangel it, or you could Doom it. I found Doom to be the funniest, because the way Hella works is every time you nullify a buff, or I think every time you hit them, something like that... Um, she gains like a physical resistance buff, and with Doom, every time we nullify something, she, he gains a shock. So you can literally just infinitely stun lock her in the corner with the heavy attacks if you keep getting the shock on um, the nullifies. So, and your heavy attacks do 500% more damage, so you literally just heavier in the corner and then she dies. So my, my Doom just absolutely bullied this fight. One of the easiest bosses I've ever seen. Just bring anyone who just can just do big heavy damage, like Captain America Infinity War. Pretty much anyone, and it just Archangel too, because 500% attack. Your neurotoxins also get the 500% attack bonus, so it's just destruction. Super easy. Then we go to path four. Not really a fun path, I'm gonna be honest. We got Mystic Focus. Whenever Mystic Attacker holds block, it charges heavy attack. They activate a power gain buff. Reside pretty much small power gain. Pretty useless. Rage, um, not a fun fight. Um, basically, if you crit or if you do a big damage and it does more than 2.5% of their max health, it gets capped and you gain. A, they get a fury, and if they get to five of these. Um, they give them fully unblockable. So, what you want to do is not bring characters that do crazy damage. And then Mystic Attackers gain 100%, 125% more damage. You can nullify the Furies. So that could work. And then the hard node, really, on top of it all, is Pressure Gauge 1. They start the fight with a value of 5. Landing a basic attack increases it by 1 for each hit. Blocking attack, um... Or activating a special attack decreases it by one. If the value reaches zero, your power drained, and if it reaches ten, you die. So basically, what this means is you start with five, you do a five hit combo right when the fight starts, and you die. So basically, you want to bring characters ideally that um, do only like one hit on their heavy. If you know what I mean. So like Magneto is probably one of the best examples. Um, you basically parry, so you go down to four, and then you heavy, and you go back up to five. Parry, you go down to four, and then heavy, you go back up to five. So you never have to risk getting to the 10 hit thing. Um, so it, this path is, you just gotta slow play it. Um, Mystic characters can nullify the Furies, but once again, you're gonna have to slow play it a lot because of the um, power, uh, pressure gauge node. And yeah, it's really just not a fun node. I personally 
I didn't want to do the slow play tactic, so I just want Namor and just cheese through it. Because Namor hits really weak unless you have Imperious Wreck. So I just never activated Rage. And then every time I got to 10 hits and I take the big energy damage, I just put it on them. So Namor is really good for this. Really, I don't know who the best characters are for this. It's really just not a fun node. I'm going to be completely honest with you. This node kind of sucked. I think Archangel can turn off Pressure Gauge if you get three or more um, Neurotoxins. So that could be a shout, but honestly, this is not a fun path. Um, bring characters that can do a lot of damage in the fewest amount of hits, if you know what I mean. Like, maybe like Domino Trinity and then Heavy, but then again, you might activate Rage. So I don't know, dude. Um, really, it's not a fun node, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, weird shout I just thought about in the top of my head is Iron Fist, parry heavy only, if you have a rank 5 Iron Fist. Because I just thought about this. Um, he might activate Rage, but if you parry heavy and he activates the Fury, I'm pretty sure Iron Fist Heavy gets rid of Furies. Like, it's a nullify on Fury, so maybe parry heavy, Iron Fist, new meta. I don't know, dude. And then the boss is super easy, so yeah, I really don't know for that one. I personally just used, um, what's it called? Namor. Also, you can Quake it, but the fights are just long. So next we got Arc Overload 2.2, just Arc Overload, basically Armored Assault. And then boost up armor of three and then critical setup. So basically the way this node works is whenever the defender has an armor up buff, they gain a 65% attack rating and their attacks are fully unblockable. So they're basically fully unblockable if they have an armor up. Then you got the defender's armor up buffs gain 75% duration and ability accuracy. But when they're struck with the critical hit, okay, if you crit the armor, the defender will remove an armor up buff and reduce the damage to zero. So if they have one armor up buff and you crit them, it does zero damage, but it eats the armor up buff so they're no longer unstoppable. And then critical setup. And when the attacker ends a combo with the end of the, the, the previous combo with the attack is guaranteed crit. So all these characters are also designed to have a little armor up, so it's kind of annoying. My technique that I use is Aegon, and then just Aegon everything and build up his combo is critting on every hit. So they're gaining a lot of armor with all these stupid fucking characters, plus the nodes combined to give these guys a lot of armor. But Aegon's critting on every hit, plus the guaranteed crits at the end. So he's just getting rid of them constantly, so they're pretty much never unblockable. Um, so it's pretty nice. Um, so yeah, they're just fully unblockable when they have an armor up. Just use a character that basically can turn off armor, or can just crit a shit ton. Aegon's probably the best answer for this. And then Aegon's also the best probably answer for this path. I'll go over the boss in a second. It's Aspect of War. So uh, the attacker's block efficiency begins to decay from 0 over 50 seconds, so... After 50 seconds, you can't block anymore because it's fully they're fully unblockable. But and they also um, after turning special attacks, they get an unstoppable effect. So this is normally normally an annoying node, but mixed with these two, strong vulnerability and cage rattler. Whenever a skill attacker is blocked, or whenever you punch into their block, they have a 50 percent chance to passively stun the defender for two seconds. So if you hit in their block, like do a four hit combo into the block, pretty much gonna get a stun guaranteed. The stun chance is increased by 10 percent for every five hits in the combo meter. So if you get to fucking 5 hits, it's a 60% chance. All the way to 25 hits, it's a 100% chance to uh, stun on block. Plus stun of vulnerability, you do crazy damage through um, stun. So I just hit into their block with Aegon, they get stunned, and you just do crazy damage. They never even get to, like, the 50 second mark on Aspect of War. This path is super easy with Stealth Suit Spider-Man, Aegon, Nick Fury, any, like, the god skill characters. It's just really good to have. So Aegon beast both these paths by himself. And then you can bring four counters for this guy. What does he have? Basically, it's just a weapon X with poison and vulnerability. Um, that's pretty much it. If you don't know how he works, uh, search up a video. He just has a crazy regen, unstoppable, unblockable, all that type of shit. Um, Archangel, easy one shot. I used Warlock. It's an easy one shot. Um, just intercept only with Warlock, though. Um, Mysterio can be easy one shot with his passive heal block. You basically just want somebody who can deal with the bleed, uh, heal block. Dr. Voodoo with Pulse and Vulnerability can turn off his healing and then do crazy damage. So, yeah. Um, his final weapon X is really not that hard if you can counter. Archangel, easy one shot. Mysterio, easy one shot. Warlock, easy one shot. Um, Quake, I guess, easy one shot if you can Quake well. Um, yeah, Dr. Voodoo. Um, so, yeah. Uh, anyone with good poison can also deal with this fight pretty well. So, yeah. That is Quest. Four down, pretty easy. So, yeah, um, there's some fun nodes in this quest, actually, I like. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.